today's video is about how your voice works and what happens when it doesn't. Naturally, I get a lot of questions about my voice, why I sound like this, what happened to my natural voice, and also questions about how your voice is produced in general. This video will explain how your voice is produced, and also describe some of the common and not so common reasons that can cause you to lose it. If this is the first time you've heard one of my videos, check out my other video called Speaking Without Vocal Cords for more information about my voice. I want to make my standard disclaimer. I am not a doctor. I've learned a great deal about the voice and the vocal apparatus having had mine altered as you can hear. Do not rely on this video as a source of medical advice. Treat it basically as anecdotal advice. If you notice a change in your voice or sore throat that persists for more than two weeks, see a doctor. And now, part one, how the voice is produced. Let's look at the terminology so that we're all on the same page. The source of the sound of your voice is, you guessed it, your voice box, also known as your larynx. It contains your vocal cords, sometimes called vocal folds. The tube that connects to your larynx is your windpipe or trachea. Let's start with the basics. How a normal voice sound is produced. We're going to assume that you have all of your original parts, so to speak. That is, you still have your thyroid gland, you have not had your voice box removed, etc. When you wish to speak, you expel air from your lungs. This travels out of your lungs, through your blood through your bronchial tubes into your windpipe or trachea, through your voice box or larynx, and out through your throat and mouth. You modulate this raw sound with your lips, tongue, and teeth. Your vocal cords produce a buzzing sound only. That's exactly what my electronics larynx does too, it produces a buzzing sound only. You vary the pitch by tightening your vocal cords and loosening the cords to produce a high or low pitch respectively. You vary the volume by the amount of air you force through your larynx or between your vocal cords. When you speak, electrical signals from your brain enable you to stretch your vocal cords across the top of your larynx. Air passes between the cause cords, rather, causing them to vibrate, producing your voice. The cords are swollen and have trouble vibrating. You have trouble voicing. To locate these structures, I'll use a visual aid of a young lady's throat so you can see what they look like, but you can also identify these structures by placing your fingers against the base of your neck. Feel for the tube that feels like a vacuum cleaner hose. And when you feel for this hose, you found your trachea. Slide your fingers upward until you reach the place where this tube becomes larger. This is your thyroid gland. It is directly in front of your larynx. You can see on this photo where the young lady's larynx is, although it's not terribly prominent. A man's larynx is more prominent because it's larger than a female larynx. This is where your Adam's apple is. Locate your vocal cords and move your fingers upward until you find the notch in the front top of your larynx. Front top of your larynx. This young lady's vocal cords are located approximately here. Your vocal cords are behind this notch. I'll talk about some of the causes of voice loss in my next video. I'll also post links to videos of various voice samples, including partial and complete voice loss, as well as people speaking after the removal of their larynx. So in the next video, causes of voice loss. Until then, be well.